everybody and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to learn some advanced words related to the topics of permission and prohibition in English. Okay? They may be new words for you, but we're going to do some activities to help you internalize these words. Uh, I think you'll find this quite interesting. Okay, so our topic is permission and prohibition. The first word I'd like to suggest for our day today is accede. Accede means accept but often associated with an initial unwillingness to accept something or give permission. Think of this example. The Prime Minister has acceded to demands to release secret documents about a recent war. Okay, so that's accede. The next word I'd like to suggest is acquiesce. Acquiesce means to permit something to happen, but often associated with a degree of secrecy or conspiracy. Like in the example, the foreign minister acquiesced in the plan to restrict imports from certain countries. Right, and the next word related to permission and prohibition is assent. Assent means to agree or to something often associated with plans, proposals, ideas. For example, Britain has assented to the proposal to enlarge the European Union. The next word I'd like to mention to you is condone. A condone means to approve or allow something which most people consider to be wrong. For example, the judge condoned the use of reasonable force by police officers who arrested the man. And two more words. One, one I'd like to bring up uh, in today's lesson is also countenance. Countenance means to consider giving assent or permission often in negative context. For example, no government would countenance abolishing taxes altogether. Interesting, eh? The last one is similar to Portuguese, but uh, maybe it, well, it might be worth refreshing uh, that this word is also exists in English. The word is endorse. Endorse means to give official approval to something. What's an example? The cabinet has endorsed the proposal to change the way universities are funded and managed. Good example, eh? Right, now I'd like you to do these activities, which are below the screen, uh, which involved all these words which we have practiced.